Hey everybody, welcome to Channel 34 Action News. My name is Dave Little and we've got a great show for you today, so let's get right to it. Have you ever gotten a really cool gift? Raise your hands if you've ever gotten a Christmas present, or a birthday present, or just a present any time of the year, and it was just really cool. Hold on a second, I can't see everyone that far away from the screen, so I wanna keep them up. Okay, is that a hand? Yeah. Yeah, it's a hand. Okay. Well, there's a lot of hands, so go ahead and put them down. Thanks for helping out. Anyway, I know when I get a really cool gift, sometimes it feels like saying thanks or writing a thank you card just isn't enough. And it's easy to feel that way with God sometimes. God has given all of us so many awesome gifts like our family and our friends that sometimes saying thanks just doesn't seem like enough. The cool thing is, though, anytime we say thanks to God, that's a way to worship Him. And there are all kinds of ways to worship God. Singing, praying, reading the Bible, enjoying nature, those are all different types of worship. And another form of worship is communion. Now if you're not sure what communion is, don't worry. Our senior Bible correspondent, John Griffith, is here to help you out. Hi, this is John Griffith reporting for Action News. Today we're going to look at a story from the Bible. It's from the New Testament part of the Bible, and it's from Luke. It's actually found in Luke chapter 22, verses 14 through 20, and it's the story of Jesus and the Last Supper He spent with His disciples. Let's look at it right now. When it was time to eat dinner, Jesus and His disciples reclined at the table, and He said to them, You have no idea how much I have looked forward to eating this Passover meal with you before I enter my time of suffering. It's the last Passover I'll eat until we eat it together in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and he said, Take this and share it among you, for I tell you I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. And that's the story of Jesus and His Last Supper with His disciples, straight from the book of Luke 22. I'm John Griffith for Action News. Do you like to give thanks to God for everything He has done for you but just don't have the time? Well then, Communionables is for you. Communionables, the brand new official product of communion for busy people. Are you an on-the-go type of person who doesn't have lots of space in their calendar but still wants to take communion and remember what Jesus did for us? Well then, Communionables is for you. Simply go to your local grocer's refrigerated section and stock up on this fantastic product now because Communionables is for you. Communionables has never been nor will ever be the official communion packet of any denomination. An important part to remember about communion is that it's a form of worship that helps us remember what Jesus did for us. Part of communion is the bread, and our most beloved senior senior cooking correspondent, Joanne Hopkins, is going to walk us through the baking of communion bread. Assisting her will be our senior garden gnome correspondent, Noel Noman. Oh, thank you, Dave. Well, today we're here to make bread, and bread is an important part of the communion experience. We thought that by showing you how to make bread, we could learn a little bit more about communion. And we're waiting right now for Noel. And Noel has gone to the store to buy the ingredients to make the bread. Oh, there you are. You snuck up on me. Thanks, Noel. Looks like you got all the ingredients. All right. Now we're going to... Who's this? This is Noel. He's my helper today. I'm going to play some cards. You interested in losing? Come out with me. Well, that's all right. I have all of the ingredients. And now you just sit back and relax and watch me bake.
we're ready to put the bread in the oven. I've asked Noel to preheat the oven for us so, so it's all ready when we're ready to bake. And speaking of Noel, I haven't seen him around anywhere, but he'll surface pretty soon and maybe he's still playing cards with Gil. Yeah, we're gonna have some bread for him when he comes out. Gonna set our timer, 25 minutes, and our bread will be all ready to eat. Ah, the bread is almost finished. You know the really nice thing about communion is that you can do it anywhere. You don't have to have special bread. The important thing is that you remember what Jesus did for us. Actually, we don't need bread. We could use biscuits or crackers. And we don't need wine either. We can use grape juice or orange juice. And you don't have to be in church to have communion. You can do it at home with your family if you want. As I said, taking the time to remember what Jesus did for us is what's really important. The bread is done. No, no, come look with me. I don't know where he is, but we'll look anyway. Oh my. Well, I hope you've had fun with us today in the kitchen. Take care. Crazy no. That gnome is the goofiest gnome I've ever met, and I've met my share of gnomes. Anyway, our senior songwriter, Scott Dill, has a song for us today. Hey, thanks, Dave. Well, we're going to listen to a song in a minute about communion, and I just wanted to spend a second to tell you what communion means to me. And I feel like it's just one of the many ways that we can thank God for his sacrifice that he made for us. And uh, in the song, we talk about drinking wine, which represents Jesus' blood, and we talk about bread, which represents his body. Both of these things he gave up for us. And in the song, we talk about taking all of that in. And any opportunity I can to be reminded of that, of his love for me and for you, I want to be reminded of that, and I want to be thankful to the Lord for that. So we're going to listen to a song now, and my friend Emily's going to sing. So let's give it a listen.
Well, that about wraps things up for us today. Communion is one of the many interesting ways that we can worship God and thank Him for everything He's done for us. So go ahead and try it at home with your family sometime. Have a great day.